This video is brought to you by DxO. DxO just launched PhotoLab 9, the newest version of their software for organizing and editing your photos. And it has some like pretty mind blowing new features that you really should check out. The features that not only match stuff in Lightroom Classic, but exceed it. This is like AI, but done correctly. AI that doesn't steal your images, AI that doesn't use the cloud, AI that makes your workflow quicker that makes your final product look better. Before we take a look at these features, let me just look at this side by side of the default processing of this picture. Just looking at this picture, we can see like so much more detail in her hair. The background has pop, whereas the Lightroom photo, like the shadows are just completely crushed. Her eye just looks jet black. DxO shows you the iris by default, whereas for some reason, Lightroom just completely hides it. I'm gonna show you the coolest part first, and if at any point, you want to just dig into this yourself, go to our link to get the completely free trial and you can download the sample files in the description too. Note that you don't have any subscription with DxO, you, you pay once. This icon brings up the masking panel and now I can click this AI mask tool. There's a few different ways to use this. The way that works best with copying and pasting is to click this list here and then select sky, subject, background, or we can do people, animals, flowers, vehicles, hair, faces, clothes. It's not like Adobe's AI where stuff gets sent off to the cloud, potentially invading your privacy. Like this happens on your computer and stays on your computer. I'll start by selecting her, just by selecting people. And now I can just easily bring down the exposure a little bit. Maybe I even want to reduce the micro contrast here that will just make her pores a little bit less visible. I find that works really well on people, but I want her hair to be a little bit brighter. So I'll click this again and select hair. It highlights it just to show that I got it right. Now let's bring that exposure up a little bit. I'll bring the blacks down to add some contrast to it. Then I'll increase the clear view plus. I love clear view plus. You can see what it does. It just adds a little interest and texture only where you want it. That's the power of this intelligent masking. And now I'll just select the background here and let's just raise the exposure of this, make it a little bit brighter. Just a few clicks, the picture looks so much better. And now I could easily copy and paste that onto 20 other images or a hundred pictures and it would automatically select the people and the background and the hair without me having to do anything. Imagine how much time that can save you in your workflow. PhotoLab 9 has complete support for all your iPhone pictures, including like Photo Raw and Heck. This picture, for example, believe it or not, is taken with the five times lens on the iPhone. The bird is white, but it's picking up green reflections from the grasses and the water. So I can fix that with just a single click of this dropper here. And now we have nice pure color. But once again, I just find myself drawn to the local adjustments. I can go here and select animals. It instantly detects the bird. I love the Clearview Plus for this. Look, it's just going to add some texture to it. And then I'll raise the exposure to bring that back up a little bit. Let's add some micro contrast to just bring out all those details and a little bit of saturation. I'll just add a little bit more sharpening. And now let's select the background. I'm just going to bring that down a little bit and even reduce the contrast a little just because I really want to make that bird pop. As a wildlife photographer, I often take a thousand pictures in a single day and applying these settings to all the pictures could be a pain. Here, it's really easy. I'm just going to right click this copy correction settings and then I'll click shift click to select everything and I'll paste those correction settings. And here you can see it intelligently applied the mask to the bird that's in a different pose. And that means all the little movements of the bird from one frame to the next are accommodated. And all my settings are accommodated. And that means I can easily preview the images to find the very best one. And, and that can literally save me hours of processing. And that means I, I get back out and I start taking pictures of birds again. Now, if I, I like these settings and I want to save them, it's no problem to just make this a preset. So the next time I'm doing an import, I don't even have to redo it. In the preset editor, I'll click this and then new preset from current settings, bird in water. Some future day, I can just click that and get all these settings back again, intelligently selecting the animal in the foreground, whether it's a bird or a lion or a dog. Here's another iPhone picture. I'll start with just broad adjustments. I'll crank up the intensity of the DxO smart lighting a little bit. 
add a little bit of contrast by lowering the blacks. But the car here is darker than the sky, so I need to do some localized adjustments. And now I have all the precision that I need. I'll just add a local adjustment here, and I could go down here and select the sky. Now I'll just lower the exposure some, crank up the clear view plus to actually bring out the sky that definitely was there, but kind of got lost. Wow, that's easy. Now I could go here and do select vehicle. That's the smart way to do it. But what if it's not a vehicle? What if it's something else? I can just intelligently pick any part of the subject. I could select the wheel, the mirror here, the headlight, and then apply local adjustments for that. So let's get these wheels nice and bright. And now we'll select the whole vehicle, brighten that up some, add a little contrast. And now let's select the entire background. Look at that before and after from an iPhone photo. It managed to extract so much detail. That's because DxO has tested just hundreds or thousands of camera sensors and lenses together. They built custom profiles for those that get the best images possible out of them. They know parts of your lens are sharp and parts are not sharp. They apply more sharpening to the unsharp parts. Of course, why would you apply sharpening to the whole image uniformly? But that's what everybody except DxO does. How about low ISO stuff? Let's go back into the photo library here. This picture taken at ISO 25,600 with a Canon R5 Mark II. The image is pretty remarkably clean for being at ISO 25,600. But you know what? There are some adjustments we can make to do even better. I'll switch to the deep prime algorithm here. It takes a little bit of processing time. Again, it's all happening locally. And bam, we can see all that noise is completely gone. Crazy how well this works. And I did a full detailed analysis against Lightroom. You get better results out of this than you do out of Lightroom, even better than you get using the Adobe Denoise algorithm. Less noise, more detail. So let's just select this woman's hair here because it's a point of interest. It's right in the foreground. I want to add a little more contrast to it, really bring out the shine in that. So I'm going to raise the exposure and then lower the blacks. And let's increase the contrast, increase the micro contrast. And you can see here, if her hair is noisy, I can crank up the noise reduction just for her hair to eliminate that. His shirt should be black. I'll just click that, lower the exposure just a little bit. This mission sign is a little overexposed, so I'll just grab that and then lower the exposure of it. You got to get the name of the nightclub clear, right? That would have been a pain in Lightroom or previous versions of DxO, but now they make it so easy. This is totally worth the upgrade if you're an existing DxO user. And if you're not a DxO user, it's definitely time to try it out. Let's just look at the before and after here. You can see a couple of clicks made a pretty huge difference in it. Something else I can do is apply settings to just the highlights or the shadows in the image. I can use a luminosity mask for this. Your shadows always have the most noise, right? So why would you apply noise reduction uniformly? I'm just going to drag over the parts of the image that I want to select here and I'm watching the preview and now I can go in and just crank up the noise reduction on that. And as we zoom in, it's hard to believe that this is ISO 25,600. There's just no noise anywhere in the image, but I haven't given up any of the detail. Go check out the trial at the link and in the comments down below, tell me your experiences with DxO Photo Lab. I'd love to hear if you've been using it. I like it so much better than Lightroom for most people. It's less expensive. It works locally. The AI is ethically trained and working for photographers instead of against photographers. Thanks for watching. Bye.